Hi everyone, I am making this video in English because I know I have English speaking subscribers, but also because I want to share an important news with you. I will be teaching this year at Django in June, which is a very famous five days gypsy jazz workshop happening in the US, in Massachusetts. So if you live in America or if you want to go to America for a week of gypsy jazz workshops and jam sessions, I hope to see you there. Let's talk about chords. In gypsy jazz, when we play la pompe, there are many different ways, different voicings we can use to play chords. For example, if I play an A7 chord, I can play it this way. I can also play it this way. I can play it this way, this way, or even this way. And all of these chords sound good in Gypsy Jazz, so which one to choose? Well, it depends on the kind of sound you want to have. This chord uses a lot of strings, so it takes a lot of space and it sounds a bit more like early Django because this voicing was used a lot in the 30s. Whereas this one, for example, is much more neutral, much more weak because it uses only three strings. If I want more sound, I will use this one or maybe this one or even this one, which will sound more dark. To my point of view, what's important when you play La Pompe is to have a warm sound and to play rhythmically very precisely. So what I usually advise my students to do is to use as many low strings as possible, just, just like for this chord. I think the chord I like, the voicing I prefer for this A7 would be something like that. But I also use very often this one. But the thing is, it also depends a lot on the guitar you're using. This guitar, for example, doesn't have much low frequency, so I have to use a lot the low strings, this kind of chords, for example. Whereas, if I use my other guitar, this one, you can hear it has much, a much powerful sound in the low frequencies. So maybe this chord would be too boomy, too muddy. I would prefer maybe this one or this one. And if you have a grande bouche, a big hole guitar, you have to be even more careful because it will be even more boomy and muddy in the low frequencies. For example, with this one, I know I have to care to be careful when I play G7, for example. I cannot really, I don't really like to play it this way. It's too low and too boomy for me. I prefer this one. And as you noticed, I don't like so much to play the two high strings when I play La Pompe. I don't think it helps the soloist so much. I think it can, it can annoy the soloist. So before I show you other fat low chords voicings, let me explain what I do when I play La Pompe in a band. I pick a chord, like on this A7, I pick this voicing, for example, and I listen to the whole band and I, I try to hear if my chord fits well the band. For example, if there's another uh, um, guitar player playing La Pompe and he's, he plays something like on a grande bouche, I, I won't pick this chord or even this one. I will try to do something complementary like this chord, for example, without playing the low string, maybe. Because something much higher in the frequencies that, than this. And it's even more true if there's a bass player. I won't 
play this string. So something like that. On the contrary, if there's a guitar player using this chord without uh, any upright bass in the band, I will probably pick this kind of chord to add some more low frequencies in the, in the rhythm section. And depending on if I want more low frequencies, more high frequencies, more power in the sound of the band, I will pick the right chord for the right sound. And now let's see some voicings I like to use for playing chords in La Pompe with a low sound, a fat low sound. For a, a C major, major chord, I will use this one. These strings, I don't like so much to use it. So usually uh, I, I play this chord, but this string, I don't pick it. I can also play a C major like that, or like that, with or without the B string. If you want a less powerful sound, you can use this chord. As I don't play the A string, it's much more wider and it's less powerful than this, which is a power chord. And there is also another chord I like to use for a C major, it's this one. Sounds great for a G major, for example. For a C7 chord, I can use the same as this C major with the 7th here. It may be sound a bit too muddy for a C7, but let's say for E7. Sounds great on this guitar. If you want a great boomy sounding chord for C7, you can use this voicing. And you can also use this one that we saw in the beginning of the video and this one. For a C minor, you can use this one, of course. This one also. For a C minor here, I like to use this simple chord. You can add the fifth the, on the low string, but I, to me it sounds too, too rock, because there is no third in this voicing, just here. For C minor 6, you can use this one, and here the one I use is this one, because this one is really hard to play maybe too muddy, or there would be this one, but it's really too hard to play for La Pompe. For a C minor 7, and also this one. And for C minor 7 flat 5, you can use this chord. It sounds too muddy here, but if I play E minor 7 flat 5, it sounds great. And also this one for C minor 7 flat 5.
Now let's play la pompe on minor swing with this kind of chord just to see how to use them. One, two, one, two, three, four. I hope that you like this video, that it will help you playing new chords, new fat low chords as I say. I think it's really useful to know this kind of voicings when you play in jam sessions or in concerts because you can play something different from the other guy who plays la pompe and it sounds this sound very precise and very low in la pompe to me sounds really nice. This is what I like a lot when I play la pompe.